Hey, we're back. We're back from our California road trip and figured we'd just do a quick little recap or as quick as we can to try and capture the, capture the memories. Um, let's just get into it. Uh, we hit the road pretty early on Sunday of last week, about eight o'clock or thereabouts. Yeah. Um, got loaded up, hit the road, ton of driving footage, which I don't know what to do with, but it was <laughs> important to capture. Um, the, wow. The mission for the day was to make it to Medford, uh, which was a success. Um, I think the, the real notable um, B story, the <laughs> subplot, uh, was the temperature. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, record, north record highs everywhere. Yeah, northwest heat mm -hmm. wave. Yeah, I got a graphic with virtually um, all these cities that hit all time highs are places we drove through. Yeah. Possibly or not spent the, the highest, night in. Or yeah. spent the night in. <laughs> Possibly not the highest temperature while we were there, but whatever. Still. Hot, 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 hot. So. Um, I think I saw temperature hit 100 degrees before noon and climb from there. Yeah. Uh, I was getting excited each time I'd see, you know, 105, 110, <laughs> 113. Uh, I think I got as high as 119. Well, which, car, yeah. yeah. Well, asphalt included. Yeah, but. I know. Car thermometers always exaggerate, but, but darn it, it happened. And I've got a photo to prove it. Um, anyway, we went to Medford. Not, uh, not too uh, many surprises along the way. Uh, got checked into our hotel and uh, started to cool down. Got the AC on, got our, got our grub, got our showers in, devices charging, getting ready to settle down and then... Boom, yeah, power went out. Power outage, Yeah. Uh, which... Shouldn't have been a surprise, but you know, whatever. We were, we were like, oh darn. <laughs> so of course, you know, hottest day ever in Medford. Um, we don't know where we are, really. I mean, I, I couldn't get the window open. Um, it was just, you know, the temperature just kept climbing, 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 climbing. Um, ah. I think Farb in the moment had some thoughts. Okay, so it's a 9.07 and it uh, looks like the power just went out. Uh, that's not great. It's still probably 100 degrees out there. So imagine this is going to get hot in here pretty darn quick. Um, hmm. Neat. That's neat. Anyway, what can you do? I mean, what can you do? Yeah. I guess you could jump in the tub, you could get in the car, you could drive away, where are you gonna go? I don't know. So we decided to just try and lay low and, you know, yeah. splash some cool water on or whatever. And then about an hour later, just over an hour later, everything came springing back to life. Yeah. And suddenly- Life was okay. Life was great. <laughs> <laughs> the hotel, which seemed decent, seemed great all of a sudden. So a little lesson in perspective there, but, uh, I don't know. I assume I fell asleep immediately after that and then um, hit the road the next day. So yeah. target Petaluma, uh, hit the road, a couple things we wanted to do along the way, including a rest stop in Weed, mm -hmm. which has a great view of Mount Shasta, or at least it normally does. Yeah. A little bit of a fire going on there. I think they call this the lava fire. Um, you know, it wasn't too Wasn't out of control, control yet at that point. Yeah, right. Foreshadowing. Um, but yeah, I got a couple pictures try to match them up with photos that we had from the same spot roughly 10 years earlier. Kind of a then and now thing. Um, stopped in Reading yep. for uh, for some breakfast. We've been to that Black Bear Diner a couple times. Yeah. Seems like a, I don't know, it's it's fun. And a great little waypoint along the way. So uh, went for that and then uh, winded our way down to Petaluma. Mm -hmm. Again, no real issues. Got checked into our hotel and then met up with family for dinner at a Mexican joint. Uh, I had a chimichanga and it was pretty good. Yeah, a good chance to chat with family and, you know, kind of, well, just great to see everybody. My goodness, yeah, it's been forever. I know. Um, went to sleep, blah, 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 you know. <laughs> uh, the next day, uh, I think I did a pretty good job of capturing the, capturing the, uh, the day. So here's in the moment Farb once again. Wiggity diggity. Hey, it's Tuesday morning. Happy Teal Tuesday. It's been a while since we've had a chance to celebrate. Um, still in Petaluma, of course. Today's the big day. We're gonna do a little, uh, little bird adventure. Got a barbecue with the family. Uh, but first, we need some coffee. So we're gonna hit a little breakfast spot and uh, grab some, uh, grab some Joe. Let's do it. After a very brief walk, we are here at Expresso. Say it with me. Expresso. Uh, yeah. Sounds like a good combination of breakfast and coffee. Espresso. Coffee thoughts? <laughs> um, tastes kind of burnt. A 
little louder for the... He's kind of burnt. That's a bummer. May I sip your coffee? Yeah. Okay. Sour. Mm -hmm. Like a molasses kind of. Yeah, it's a taste of fuel shouldn't really be there, but whatever. I was just saying hello. Hold your garbage coffee. Hey, you were making a big, big, uh, big fuss about that earlier, huh? Yeah, because hotel coffee in your room mm -hmm. is usually weak. It is, uh, you know, it's a whole acquired taste, a world of uh, poor, weak coffee. I don't care. <laughs> This isn't necessarily weak, it's just, you know, it's gone sideways. Yeah. I'm a little nervous about my espresso might as well. Take a micro sip here. <laughs> Have a sip. Same kind of action. Petaluma kind of guy. All right. Thank you. <laughs> and the bacon, egg, and cheese. Yeah, thank you. Mm hmm. Final thoughts on Eggspresso? Uh, yeah, it's perfect. I mean, except for the, except for the coffee. Yeah, everything. coffee was, that is absolutely the worst espresso I've ever had in my life. I yeah, mean, I by a here. factor of 10. And I generally don't slam on anything. I can live with mediocre. That was actively, aggressively evil yeah, bad. It, was, it was, felt like it was biting me. And there he, oh God. No, it's so bad. <laughs> I don't even know how you create that kind of flavor with espresso. Anyway. <laughs> the rest was great though. Yeah, great sandwiches, the little uh, potato, fried potato yeah, rounds they had, the chips. I was expecting that. Um, perfect compliment, good flavors. Yeah, just, you know, up your coffee game, especially, you know, less time on your cool logo and whatever. <laughs> Get an espresso machine or someone who knows how to work it. Okay. Uh, yeah. On to adventure. On our way. Yeah. I believe we have arrival. Hello! Yeah, we were already a lot red. Yeah. Only 70? Petaluma Mark. Yeah. Hawk out there. Something. Big old whatever. <laughs> Bird. <laughs> Tell telling Jen like wonder wonder what all that is. So any plant peeps out there? Is it supposed to look like that or was there a fire? <laughs> What's going on? No, let me try zooming in. We've got a bird alert. A meat bird alert. Hello, friend. How are we doing? Alrighty, well, um, ha, sunny day. Check this out. Look at the open skies and the thirsty landscape. And the farb walking backwards. Um, looking at these weird holes. Looking at the weird holes. Yeah, what do you think? Uh, probably maybe snakes or bugs. Boy, that's a lot. Lizards. Through this. Yeah. Persistent little guys, but maybe they got there a goes. cooler spot down there. Maybe. Some beverages, possibly some better coffee than you'll find at Espresso. Solitary. Let's get a little video of this guy. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> 
Um, so after we all got nice and crispy, um, Christine and I grabbed some Starbucks to cool off a little bit. I think I took a rinse and then we uh, met up with the family at Jennifer and uh, Ross's place. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did not do a very good job of filming the event. I think I was just more well, excited to be a part of the event. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I feel like maybe I didn't spend enough time with everybody. I think I was just trying to avoid the sun more than anything. Uh, but yeah, a great chance to see some folks I hadn't seen in quite a while. Aside from, you know, Jill and Jenna Ross. Uh, fantastic, Jamie Jan was there, Randy mm -hmm. was there. Um, Jackie, Jackie and Jay, Jay. Mm -hmm. Janine. Ja yeah, Jim. Uh, they did uh, chicken, they had some different salads. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, everything was great. It, fantastic. Food was great, company was great. Grubbin, grubbalicious. Uh, cherry pie, very tart, very delicious. Oh yeah, that was good. Uh, and then it disappeared. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. I was, I was ready to go back for another slice. Uh, but anyway, um, kind of winded down the evening by uh, just chit-chatting on the uh, on the patio, on the back, mm -hmm. the backyard. Yeah. As the sun went down, and uh, you know, before you know it, it's just it's time to go. So, mm -hmm. so we went. <laughs> um, the next morning, we did breakfast with the family or at least with Jill and Jennifer, mm -hmm. at Sax's Joint in Petaluma. Oh, yeah. uh, a, little, a little busy, especially for like a Wednesday morning. Yeah. Uh, but wow, best corned beef and hash I've ever had. Mm. Got a time lapse of me destroying it for those of you who want to watch Farb eat a ton of food. <laughs> mm. um, good cinnamon roll too, probably top five, maybe even top three. I need to rank these. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Sax's Joint, Petaluma. Man, check it out. Mm -hmm. That hit the spot. Um, Jen and Ross are gonna kind of share some uh, retail space, so we kind of check that out too. I don't think I got any footage of that, but mm -hmm. next time we visit, hopefully they'll have premises yeah. that we can uh, explore cute. and share. Very cute little shop. Yeah, you know, Word Horde, they can do some book sales and yeah. uh, classes and gaming sessions, and maybe we can talk Ross into doing a podcast or a vlog or something. Huh. I'd watch that. Yeah. Um, uh, drive <laughs> head uh, next stop Monterey so yeah uh, jumped on the took the 101 down to the I don't know I can't do it <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah what do we take uh, but did uh, uh -huh. go across a pretty notable bridge not sure what bridge it is I'm sure it'll be uh -huh. overlaid here in text but yep drove to down to Monterey um, a lot of a lot oh. of good memories <laughs> a lot of memories there yeah oh ooh. Um, we got checked into our spot, um, decided to walk down to uh, downtown uh, for dinner. I love this little place called Rosine's. Mm -hmm. uh, great salads. Actually, they do everything pretty darn well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, their cob salad is pretty fantastic. So we had uh, outdoor curbside seating, literally curbside. Uh, had a chance to enjoy. Yeah, the, the next morning, I think we had uh, kind of loose-ish plans to connect with uh, Ed and Monica around six yeah. that evening so that kind of freed us up to do whatever we wanted so we headed down to pacific grove and uh got some breakfast a place called toasties oh yeah i had the uh eggs benedict fantastic christine had some sort spin of omelet, omelet i think yeah. some pancakes on the side delicious where'd we go from there to lover's point mm -hmm. um yeah <laughs> yeah it was squirrel central there it was squirrel mageddon weird uh, yeah, I mean, there's like one homeless tent. I mean, I don't know if the pandemic has done something that has allowed nature to, to, to assert its dominance or, or if it's just, you know, a lot of squirrels. But yeah, yeah there's probably 30 or 40 squirrels on the, on the lawn. Um, you know, not aggressive. They aren't getting organized yet. But, uh, but now we saw a ton of stuff. What do we see? Um, obviously squirrels, seagulls, uh, pelicans. Saw yeah. some, I've got a couple cool shots of brown pelican. Uh, I saw, I don't know what I saw. They were corm we're guessing they're cormorants. Yeah, I feel pretty confident those were cormorants. Um, there was like a, a whale watching boat or something. Yeah, it, I you might have caught a whale. A uh, small whale. Could dolphin? Be, I don't know. Could be a dolphin. Something. Um, yeah, something. <laughs> I'll let you decide. Uh, as we walked uh, along the waterfront, we saw uh, like a harbor seal. Yeah. Uh, kind of waving at us. <laughs> um, some scrubby birds, a few more squirrels checking us out. Um, an otter, saw an otter. Yeah. Didn't even uh, realize it at the time. I thought it was a seal from a distance, but no, that's it's an otter. Clearly an otter, mm -hmm. yeah. Pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, great spot, wow. You know, I, I won't play the regret card too much, but having lived there for two years and never 
really doing much more than a drive-by. Kind of lost an opportunity to enjoy a nice spot. But we enjoyed it that day. Yeah. At a Monica's place for dinner that yeah. night. Uh, similar to the, the barbecue with the, the other family um, you know, in Petaluma. Uh, didn't do a ton of recording, but you know we had, we had some fun. Uh, Ed's a grill master for sure. Yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, Rob and Kiska were there. Mm -hmm. Played, what, Pictionary? Yeah, it was pretty fun. Yeah, it was pretty fun. <laughs> uh, we crushed them. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we were the only all-adult team too. I won't get two out of them. Oh, that's but true. But we definitely, you know, we're a good match. <laughs> and yeah. it definitely showed with some very quick drawings that we, the other was immediately able to pick up. So, <clears throat> nicely done, Pictionary. Way to reinforce the team crank awesome. <laughs> uh, again, before you know it, it's time to scoot. So scoot we did. Um, the next morning, similarly, uh, first breakfast spot, power was out or something, so we went back to Rosine's. Oh, yeah. Got some breakfast. Um, good breakfast. Dang it, Rosine's. Yeah. You got it dialed in. Yeah. Um, then we hit the road for uh, Bradley. Mm -hmm. But I decided to, well, A, not wanting to land to Bradley at 112 degrees or whatever. <laughs> um, but I'd never done a big surge down Highway 1. So, uh, so we went for it. Drove from um, Carmel to uh, Cambria along Highway 1. Made a few stops. Yeah, a lot of Vista points. A lot of Vista points. We did not stop at all of them. I mean, there's a, there's a moment there where it's just like every quarter mile, Vista point, no, Vista I know. point, Vista point. I mean, the whole damn thing's a Vista point. Yeah. Give me a break. <laughs> um, but yeah, well worth it. Uh, I'd love to go back and stay the night somewhere in there. I think that'd be kind of fun if we ever turn into those people. Yeah. There there would be no cell signal. Prob yeah. Probably is on my buy somewhere, but still, yeah. Well, you know, just to sleep <laughs> among the redwoods would be, yeah. would be pretty awesome. Some amazing fresh air, full moon. I mean, whatever. Uh, if we never do it, uh, at least we did the drive. Yeah. I uh, probably got the best picture of the of the whole uh, of the whole trip <laughs> for the wannabe photographer that I am. Uh, best picture was a selfie at a Christine cell phone. Um, <laughs> but what are you gonna do? It's got both of us in it. Um, yeah, Pacific Coast, California. Yeah, the Californians. Um, made it to Bradley. Had a little unscheduled stop at a tire store, and then yeah, kind of. Spent the rest of the trip hanging out with family down there. Yeah. So once again, barbecue master Ed made a made a house call. <laughs> nice tri tip grill session. Chance to catch up with the family. Uh, apple pie this time. Also very yeah. sweet. Yeah. Um, That's what coffee's for. Yeah. The coffee game kept getting better along the way. And I mean, can you believe? I mean, it was over. I know. Next thing you know, we're waking up with a thousand mile drive and. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for driving. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, yeah, hit the road early, early um, Sunday morning, 4th of July. Made yeah. it to uh, Ashland without much incident at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, aside from it being a weekend, it's also a holiday, so. But we did pass by Shasta and the fire had grown. Yo, yeah, good call. Yeah. So, um, re you know, retracing our steps. Did not stop at the Black Bear Diner. Kind of wanted to, but whatever. Um, the fire, much bigger. Much bigger. In fact, I think there's like three or so fires in the area now. Mm -hmm. uh, at one point, I even saw flames off to the side. <laughs> I don't think I got anything footage-wise, but yeah, motorcyclist was pulled over and was shooting cell phone footage of flames marching up the hill. So, you know, not good. <laughs> not good. I know California's in historic droughts, and uh, you know, it's probably going to be a, just a tremendously horrid fire season. Yeah, Eastern Washington already Eastern has something Washington, going on. I mean, <laughs> it's. And uh, I don't know. I, th I think our best move is to uh, stay here. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, and get an air purifier. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Probably. So that'll be something we work on. But yeah. anyway, made it to Ashland. Um, I would say probably should have um, stayed further into Oregon. You know, I mean, it seemed like the logical move at the time, but oh yeah, because it's like literally about halfway point mm -hmm. uh, mileage, -wise. mileage wise. But with but all the urban centers still to go, and the fact that the yeah. We, I mean, we actually got really lucky in terms of Seattle traffic. Yeah. Um, we just got hit with some weird random yeah, accidents. Yeah, you know, like to Olympia was yeah. kind of backed up. But uh, anyway, Ashland stayed at a Timbers Hotel, motel. Uh -huh. Just fine. fine. Yeah. Just fine. Um, didn't hear a single firework. No. In fact, I think I heard one last night, but here in Bellingham. Uh, but pretty uneventful 4th of July in my world. Yeah. Um, 
yep, got on the road pretty early yesterday and got home a little before seven. Full day of driving, about 11 hours or so. Um, but yeah, all together, 20, 2,455 miles, um, three barbecues, <laughs> uh, plenty of hugs, adequate amount of coffee. Yeah. I mean, let's be real, there's always room for more. In fact, I'll probably get an Americano here at the conclusion of this walk. Um, yeah, no, I mean, it, I don't know. It, it felt hectic. It was a whirlwind. We always do this to ourselves. Yeah, but then, I mean, there's so much family to see. Yeah, and yeah I mean, what are your choices? You can, um, I mean, we could fly and yeah. reduce some of the drive time. That's pretty pricey, though. But that gets a little pricey, and then there's a rental car and all that extra hassle. Yeah. Um, plus, I, I do enjoy driving. Um, we could cut out some family members, uh -huh. but that's, you know. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> not cool yo I know so you know I mean it, it, it uh, felt like I was pushing it by stretching the vacation out a little bit you know kind of a, it is a significant time away from work but I'll be back tomorrow um, but uh, we saw everybody for you know a day and a half and uh, and we've caught up and I think that was kind of the whole point you know it wasn't it, it felt I don't want to say that it felt like an obligation at all or we're doing our due diligence or whatever but <laughs> You know what I mean? We caught up with everybody. I think we spent some good quality time with everybody. Yeah. And now we're back. Yeah. And I certainly have scratched the road trip itch for the time being. Mm -hmm. Well, we just have to visit family more often. We do. I think we need to get something on the books uh, for visiting my mom, Mumsy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I think we should probably firm up some plans for spring training next year. Yeah, I haven't seen the, the Williamses. Williamses. And then... Uh, you know, there's some serious talk about maybe Japan next fall. Of course, the pandemic will be the big driving factor there, but yeah. would love to take uh, two weeks, ooh, if I can, uh, maybe, you know, spend a couple days in Taiwan and then spend the rest in, in Japan. Come back, fight the jet lag, and get back to work. <laughs> Pretend I only took a week and a half off or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, we'll see. That's... Uh, something I would love to love to make happen but but we made this one work uh, felt great everyone's back everybody's healthy and uh, getting ready for work tomorrow so yeah kind of a hodgepodge recap maybe I can do a better job with some of these videos or a deeper dive or a solo release of the highway one drive or something <laughs> probably not but had some fun with the with the filming and uh, definitely had a great time seeing family. So five out of five, we'll totally do it again. <laughs> Maybe not tomorrow, but but soon, and we will do it again. Uh, cool, so anyway, thanks for, thanks for joining us for a little recap. Um, hopefully, uh, if you're one of the folks we visited, we'll see you again soon. If we missed you this go around, hopefully we'll see you even sooner. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next week. Catch you on the flippity. <laughs>